external or teaching staff training departments, uh, distance learning studies and part-time learning. Uh, the national context and the European context cannot be, of course, totally decoupled. We are in an environment uh, in the European higher education area, so we are looking at conformity with these ESGs. We have the basic terminology according to international English, we would have audit, external review, assessment, whatever, but in Romania we use the word evaluare, and we have even difficulty to make our, uh, well, let's say, evaluations of the agency itself, audit by ANCA coordinated, or EUA coordinated, or ESI coordinated, uh, accept that we use that word, and if you look in the dictionary when you speak about audit, you say it's an evaluation, when you speak about evaluation, it's an audit. So it's a kind of, um, uh, let's say, use of the same terminology, it's richer in English, but uh, in um, Romanian, we prefer to use one word which everybody would understand. Now, uh, the funding is uh, regulated, uh, we have independence from the state budget, by law, we have contracts with universities, of course, uh, universities complain because uh, the fees, of course, draw on their budget, uh, but there is no activity without costs, so that's a fact. And I think, uh, theory, uh, I think it's better to, uh, to, let's say, be open, have the fees established, and it's a government decision, everybody knows, and we have to uh, be independent in that respect as well because there is no pressure. Now, uh, the time schedule, uh, it's presented in detail. Of course, I'm not going to go through all those slides. They are on the uh, side of the agency. You can look how it starts the evaluation. First of all, there is a request, an application from the universities. Then we have a director of mission. And this University of Bucharest, in which we are, and which hosts this conference, has been evaluated. So, for those who are working in university, I think they know more than we would think about this uh, time schedule, which covers seven, eight months, because it's not very easy to do that. Uh, a number of um, study programs have been evaluated, you have to prepare the documents and um, uh, the self-evaluation report is due from moment zero, starting moment, plus three months. Then uh, uh, we have uh, within the time of four months, zero plus four months, the visit team coming to the university and uh, the visit team could be quite complicated. There was one university, uh, which was a comprehensive one, very diversified, with a team of 26 people coming. And of course, the team is a peer review. They are all university professors coming to university, and it's difficult to accommodate the time schedule. That's one problem we have to solve. Now, uh, the results. The result, uh, first of all, maybe I should have said that the, uh, there is a report, the Department of Quality Assurance reads the report, and there is a letter to the university showing what happened, what was the uh, main conclusions of the exercise, and the university has to answer. The reports are public. The decision of the councils are, council are public. And there are appeal procedures as well. Now, the evaluation of the program and of the university ends up with a judgment. So, um, I use the term judgment, sometimes it would be also the term label. We thought it was a label, it's not. It's a judgment, it's the result of the conclusions in a concentrated way. And we call them in Romanian qualification in the French sense of the word. It's not qualifiers as for the World Cup of the European football contest. Uh, 
So we have for study programs confidence, limited confidence, and no confidence, if it's possible. But for the first exercise, 2007-2008, it's prior to the project we have now from the European Structural Fund for School, we have three possible types of it for institutions. High degree of confidence, limited degree of confidence, and no confidence. One of the conclusions of this pilot phase was that we could not differentiate at the top of the scale. Because if you give high degree of confidence, of course, not everybody can say everything is perfect. So we have to give them uh, a high degree of confidence with a plan to amend some things which could be amended in one year's time. So it was, uh, in a way, a condition, condition high degree of confidence. So now we have four possible types of conclusion, which is high degree of confidence, confidence, limited degree of confidence, and lack of confidence. That allows for better differentiation and the university having got confidence can apply in one year's time to change the judgment and to obtain, to prove that can, they are entitled to obtain a high degree of confidence. Now, a very important note, the judgment reflect the, the, the judgments reflect the overall quality level of how or how the higher education institution accomplish their mission. They are not ranked they do not rank, and I will give several examples trying to answer the challenge we have. You give too many high degree of confidence. The reasons why it could be presented in relationship with the mission, mission of the universities we have evaluated. Now, a few comments on the judgments must, must be understood in the context. It's the social context, it's the diversity of study, pro study programs. And if you look at the university missions, they have almost identical missions. Because that's the situation. They have to fulfill the four well goals we have presented, but they are translated into the mission statement of each university in a quite similar way. There are very few universities who have added to that, and we have examples of universities.